Good morning, guys. And today I'm gonna show how to ferment a Chinese mantou, which is Chinese bread. So this is like a, around one kilo wheat powder, and this is around like 150 milliliter of water, and melt the dry yeast. So put this bacteria in while stirring to try to mix the dry yeast well like with all of the wheat powder obviously it's not enough water so let's get more warm water and just need to try to add little by little at the beginning because it's hard to control and um, if you put too much water the dough will be very soft and that's okay too but uh, you may end it up make having a lot of doughs so here's the trick you use your hand to get some warm water and mix warm water together with the dry powder and uh, until you, you cannot see any dry wheat powder and then you started kneading and pressing like this until the surface became kind of um, smooth and um, your hand and the bowl also you can see it's becoming cleaner so and this means the dough is ready so cover the dough with a lid and leave it somewhere warm and wait until it's fermenting well like twice bigger than the original dough and while it's fermenting we can prepare the fillings for baozi all right now you can see carrot and green onion or garlic and mushroom it from the size it looks like uh, one and one and 0 0.5 so two two and one so green onion is more like a decoration and uh, to make a smell so you don't have to put that much and now the most important part you do like this careful with your hand so you can see the meat is getting sticky now okay first soy sauce and two spoon black pepper a little bit and then stir them and mix everything this soy sauce is quite salty so i didn't put any uh, salt and then later when we mixed up with vegetable and uh, we will adjust the flavor with soy sauce and salt again for the vegetables you're gonna put oil first to cover the veggies with oil and then you put salt after oil then there won't be any liquid come out or less liquid come out okay now let's put the meat and if you don't have soy sauce for chicken it's the easiest you just put salt and pepper it, and the smell will come out together with like the mushroom and the carrot and since you coated the carrot with oil so once it's heated there will be like a, the oil and the liquid from carrot will become yellow and then the this kind of taste mixed with chicken oh my god you don't know how delicious it is all right guys now we are ready for the fillings you can see how much i made and um, for the filling like i said you can adjusting the taste while cooking a little bit to taste a little bit so that you will know what's missing and you will put either salt or pepper or soy sauce and now let's start it to make the dough okay guys you just make sure you have a wooden big enough wooden board or clean a kitchen table which is smooth so that the wheat powder will not enter like very became very sticky and become very hard for you to clean later you can see you can tell this is like double size than the beginning when we started making the dough which means it is done so double size and then second do like this see it doesn't shrink and then it looks well it stays the same 
and once you open here if you can see bubbles inside looks like a bee hops like that it also means it's well fermented in on the wet floor and clean here if it's too sticky use some wheat powder to do like this so now the dough is here everything's cleaned and you just started to look do like this and press with this part of your palm this this part and do it again and put it this side and do like this to press by doing this the air inside the dough will come out and the skin of the dough will be more smooth and here's since my dough is kind of hard see it's actually hard enough so I don't actually need this much wheat flour but if your dough is like very soft and cannot stay the shape see mine is like hard enough it's okay too so this is the time you need to prepare lots of wheat flour and to mix them together with the dough until it's hard enough for you to fill it see actually this kind of texture is actually perfect and oh it could be too big for me so put it here and then put it aside and let's do this half and put a little bit with floor here make sure it won't be sticky on the table and yes so I don't really do that much times so five minutes for the dough and that's it because I'm too lazy and just make sure the skin is not that like many holes like this then it's okay now do this to make it thinner and do this to press a bit see now it's becoming round like a stick like this and just cut around this size and then to press press to become flat Ovi okay? hello oh. how are you yeah i'm good it was so delicious yeah yes <laughs> i'm so happy you guys like it it was so good Yes, I'm actually making a video, okay. but it's almost done. <laughs> yes. I will clean it upstairs. Yes. How long will you stay here? Like two hours or more, I don't know. Oh, cool. So I will cook the Chinese buds again so you can bring it to Alison. Okay. <laughs> So now you can see how I made this skin. It's run like this thick. You can make it thinner but not too thin because the liquid may come out from the bottom and everything will be messy. So like this. I bought this, I bought a very long stick and it's not that, this is the stick to make Turkish baklava but uh, I like this kind of shape so I have to take it. Since this wheat powder, because I mixed with black wheat powder and it's not that, how to say, elastic, so I'm gonna make it into a dumpling shape which is 
much easier. Think about the shape of dumplings and then first close the top. Oh, it's hard to... Okay, and here. Press them and this side. You can see even me, I cannot make it in a nice shape. So don't worry if you are a beginner. It doesn't matter because we're gonna eat it and the taste tastes the same. And now it looks like a dumpling and it's done. So see, much easier. Now I put the baozi in a steamer with a baking paper on the bottom to keep it away from being moistured by water while steaming. And then between the baozi, you gotta make sure you have minimal like one finger space. And then you cover the steamer for a while and wait maybe for 20 minutes in summer. It can be like 15 to 20 minutes and in winter sometimes it can be 30 minutes until it will ferment a second time again. And you can feel it's not as heavy as before, especially sometimes it can be very light. Some people say like an air. Be careful because it's always get dry. So once your body is ready, try to cover with a towel, a dry towel, not wet, of course, or something. I'll start the steamer. If you don't have a steamer, you can put it in a pan, a flat pan with a cover, and then you can grill it. And it is done. Have a look at this. this chicken bread and i will put it here then starting from tomorrow since i cannot just finish them in two three days so i tomorrow i will separate them into several parts and uh, possibly i will freeze half of them have a look like this ah oh, it's so yummy and i just ate three of them and now i'm totally full